The following video will involve me reading from notes that I've typed out describing the latest news and info in regards to Pokemon Go and other related content. This video is not endorsed nor supported by Niantic Labs, Game Freak, the Pokemon Company, nor Nintendo. Hi everyone, Lewis here. I thought I'd bring you some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. This week on November 14th, we got some of the evolutions of Pokemon from Generations 1 through 3 that evolved in Generation 4, currently available in this wave. Pokemon that evolve in Generation 4 from Generation 1 are Electabuzz, Magmar, and Rhydon. Pokemon that evolve in Generation 4 from Generation 2 are Murkrow, Porygon 2, Togetic, Gligar, Sneasel, and Mischievous. Pokemon that evolved in Generation 4 from Generation 3 are Dusclops and Rosalia. Originally, Pokemon from Generation 1, such as Electabuzz, evolved using the Electrotizer, while Magmar evolved using the Magmaizer, and Rhydon evolved using the Protector. Originally, Pokemon from Generation 2, such as Murkrow and Mischievous, evolved using the Dusk Stone, while Porygon 2 evolved using the Dumbest Disc. Togetic evolved through friendship, while Gligar evolved using the Razor Fang while leveling up and at night, and Sneasel evolved in a similar manner to Gligar while leveling up also at night but with the Razor Claw. Originally Pokemon from Generation 3, such as Dusclops, evolved by being traded while using the Reaper Claw, and Rosalia evolved using the Shiny Stone. In Pokemon Go, all these items and methods have been replaced by a recently added item called the Sinnoh Stone. These can only be obtained through completing weekly field research tasks. The Pokemon mentioned above from Generation 1 become Alephire, Magmatar, and, Hy and Rhyperior, while Pokemon from Generation 2 become Honchkrow, Miss Magus, Porygon Z, Glisser and Weevil. Lastly, Pokemon from Generation 3 become Dustnar and Rose Raid. I have my shiny Dusclops, which I evolved months back from a shiny Duskull I caught back in February to show off as an example of how the Sinnoh Stone, in addition to having one, you need for enough candies of the said Pokemon. Also currently going on in Pokemon Go is baby Pokemon hatching from generations 1 through 3 from 2k eggs. This event also started on November 14th and ends on November 27th. Pokemon like Rhyhorn, Porygon, and Bagby will be hatching from 2k eggs. You might even get a shiny Ela kid. And also baby Pokemon from generation 2 and Three, which are pre-evolutions of Pokemon from Generations 1 and 2 are also hatching from 7k eggs along with Alolan Pokemon. Be sure to take advantage of this event as I said it ends on November 27th. Also in other Pokemon news, the new Nintendo Switch titles Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee was released today on November 16th. One day I will obtain both of these games the Pokeball Plus accessory and a Switch console. The Pokeball Plus, like both games, can also connect to Pokemon Go, which allows you to catch Mew in the Switch games and also acts like the Pokemon Go Plus accessory in Pokemon Go. Also, when you connect either game to Pokemon Go, you also get to catch Meltan in the game. One more thing, I have some videos coming up both Pokemon Go and non-Pokemon Go related, including my latest adventure, which I started with the recent Cyndaquil Community Day, which was last weekend, all the way to my upcoming second Deoxys EX Raid, which for the first time I finally got an EX Raid Pass for, my Stream to See review of their dry bag, and lastly, my documentary about what it's like to become a dive volunteer and scuba dive at the Adventure Aquarium. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And remember, it's time for adventure!